We're having Sunday roast today, and Kevin is trying his hand at Yorkshire pudding again. Now, I did a whole uh, video of us making the Sunday roast with the Yorkshire puddings, and this time he watched Jamie Oliver's video, and so he's doing it differently. Sunflower oil? We bought sunflower oil, and so this is the way that Jamie Oliver did it. I'll have to rotate this around because it's a did he? You fill these up. Just the three on the end. Yes, this is as fast as it goes. <laughs> now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna make a horrible mess. But no, we'll, you're we'll not. See. No. I hope I won't make a horrible mess. No. We'll see. Um, the oven is on 370. So what I'm going to do, this is Jamie Oliver's method of getting this even. He said basically you should have a centimeter in each one. So this is what he did. Okay, here's the mess. He filled this up and he tilted these up until it filled evenly into all four of them. You did it. Pretty cool. Yeah. Now, do you need to put a pan under that before you put it yeah, there? Yeah, just to uh, keep it from boiling over, yeah. So now this goes in the oven for 15 mm -hmm. minutes? 15 minutes. The, ugly pan is. the, the only thing um, that you're doing different from this time and last time is the oil. I've got some far oil. I, I measured out the way he was measuring out because I worried about how much oil was in here. Right. He also filled his up to where they were even with the top. Right. So I'll show you another trick he had when I come back once these are done. So they've been in the oven for 50, or the oil, they, not they yet. It's not a they yet. <laughs> it's yeah. been in the oven for 15 minutes. And Kevin's already made up his batter and you used four eggs, 200 milliliters of whole milk, 200 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt. And you want to talk about what you're doing here? Um, if you use a spoon, it keeps it from like dribbling all over the place. I think these are bigger muffin tins than he had. I don't think so. Jamie Oliver said that if it dribbled from one cup to the other, then it would stop them from rising properly. Yeah. I don't have enough batter to fill all these. Well, Then we can just leave the oil in the other ones and not use them, right? Can we do that? Yeah. It'll just be really hot oil when it comes out because it'll have been in for 25 minutes. Is that how long it takes? 25 that, minutes? Yeah, 20 to 25 minutes. 20. I think this second attempt at Yorkshire pudding was definitely a success. Yeah, the rose over there. I'll use that old pan because it's uh, oil ran over really bad. Yeah, the oil ran over into the pan below. But I wonder if that's because we had empty ones. Yeah, because these are lower, but those are beautiful. Yeah, they come out Those are really nice. So Kevin's making an observation as he's pulling them out of here. You said that one of them touched the yeah, other one. Yeah, one of them one. like rose and like touched, folded over, and then this one like was flat. I mean, it's, and so it didn't. Yeah, it so didn't that rise. didn't rise. But so. the other one was rose a little bit, like on one side. And so these look really, really nice. These though. are really, really hot. Kevin just finished a new paper project. This is, uh, it's supposed to be like you bought a Minecraft yeah, toy from, from the store. it's from Boxzet Paper Toy. Um, I think it's uh, by manstudio.com. Anyway, that's where it came from. Man Studio. Box, there it is, boxzet.com. Boxzet.com. And you can print these out and make them. But anyway, it looks like a box set. Actually, Tammy walked in the kitchen and said, we didn't get another set, did we? And uh, I said, no, it's just a paper thing I'm working on. Yeah, he's made, it, it looks very, very real. When you walk in and glance and just see that box, it looks like the real deal. And then you look closer and it's like, oh, that's paper. You can pop them off too. This is They're not glued on. They, they will come off. I just don't want to take them off because it took a little while to get them, back, get them on there. But this opens up and you can put the man inside there. You put the man in the car. You can put the man in the car because this back opens up. So you can actually play with this. You could. That's I mean, it's cool. Paper, but yeah. 
Yeah, it probably wouldn't last long if you played no. with it. I'm just so gonna now, what are, you, my, what are you going to do? I'm going to put it on my desk. Right okay, well, that's what I was wondering. So it's going on your desk. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about the next paper project I'm going to do. I've been working on a Marvin the Marching uh, figure for a while, and I've never really gotten a, a good start on it, so that's what I'm going to do next. But, yeah, it's got his little axe and everything. Uh, his pickaxe. Okay, Gavin has something he wants to show us. What is this? I got to paint in the mailbox and we read it and curl it and put it in the mailbox. Yes, and did you go to the mailbox? Yes. And what did you mail? Did you mail something for yes, me? Yes, in there. Yes, yes, yes. And you put it in there and do you have to have a stamp on it? Yeah, a stamp on it, yes. A stamp. Yes. And what else did you do? The pen in the coal and paint in the mailbox. I am that was very, very and smart. Did you get some new pants at the store? And the curl ones, and I curl these two, and we picked some blue, we big blue, and we small blue, and we peeled them, but not yet, and we do it, we did it. So I'm going to get it at my house in the mailbox. Yes, it's good. And it will be from you. Yes. It will be special. And I've told Gavin that I've wrapped a lot of gifts for him and put them under the tree for Christmas. Yeah. I need something to drink. You want something to drink? Okay, let's get you a drink. Do you have a cup in here? Yes. Look. Oh. Actually, where are they? Where are they? Do you do we need to put something in it? Is it empty? Oh, no, there's stuff in there. There's a drink in there. Mm. No chocolate milk, please shake it up. You need chocolate milk? Yeah, and it's up there, up here, up here. Up here? Ooh, look at this ornament. Yeah. That's a cute ornament. That's cute. Yeah. We got two things from the P.O. Box today. So, Start yeah, I'll start opening that one because it looks difficult. I got a picture from Jennifer. I love this because I can keep this out year round of you, Jennifer. I think that's cool. Merry Christmas, have a blessed Christmas, and a wonderful new year. Love, Jennifer. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. If you don't want your pictures shown, don't send them. Yeah, because I will actually put this in the dining room and I will keep it out all the time. <laughs> but what is this? Oh, look at that. How they wrap that. That's cool. That is very cool. What is this? The something annual. Let's see. Let me look at the card first. I, I hate to tear this up. This is adorable. I love how you wrap this. Love it. But I'm having to. Yeah, it's just, I just have to get it's into it. Together, so. The England's annual? Green and pleasant. For all those us. who love our green and pleasant lands. Who's this from? This is from Nan. Nan. Yeah, Nan in California. I'm sorry, I should have said that. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to the Duns. Hope each hope each Christmas moment is filled with all that brings you joy. Thanks for everything. Nan, Nick, and I think it's Mara. I think that's M-A-R-A. T.S. The chocolate bar will be sent separately. Smell it. Just stick your nose that's all good. It, I, we like to smell bugs. We're so weird. I didn't know you were going to send me a chocolate bar. I don't remember knowing that. This is the card. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. She's got all kinds of different stuff in it. Poet's Corner. Looks cool. It looks like a neat magazine. Oh, look, look how for pretty that was. The red. The, the poppies. Red. Yeah. Oh, that's they're, they're, beautiful. They're, yeah, yeah, um, we'll enjoy looking at yeah, we will and, very much that enjoy count? this. I mean, is that big? Where? Yeah, we're gonna, we're oh, wow, that's, that's a big, big. big. <laughs> that reminds me of that show we watched from England. 
what was the name of that? The farm? Oh, yeah. The Victorian farm? Yeah, or, it just reminds me of something you would see on there. And look, A Christmas Reverie, a seasonal short story. Yeah, you'll love them. Yeah, that's really cool. Thank you very much, Nan and Jennifer. I love these. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the Christmas card out. And Jennifer, I'm gonna put your picture in the dining room. I'll go ahead and put it on the shelf so it'll be there all the time. So thank you. Okay, I got three things at work today. Um, Sherry, our maintenance housekeeping lady, she gave me um, reindeer poop <laughs> and a card, which I have not opened yet. I'm gonna open it. And then I have a student gave me reindeer poop. It remind. It looks like uh, we made a white trash one time, it's similar to that. and it looks like that. Um, a student gave me this, which is is it moose munch? It, moose munch, yeah. Yeah. So a student gave me that, and then Bob Biega, which is another faculty member there, a math teacher, gave me this, which Ashley will enjoy. That's a yeah. Uh, it's a hoagie like a sandwich like with pepperoni a, and cheese. Yeah, and, like yeah. an Italian sub. Yeah. See, that's a pretty card. Pretty. I like that. She said, um, Kevin, celebrate the, the wonder of winter and all the joy of the season. I want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a pleasure working with you in our building. Love, Sherry. That's nice. That's very sweet. you going to show them what else you got? Oh, the boxes? Yeah. Oh. Did you want to show them or no? I can show them. Can we go and open them? Sure. We were at Walgreens and we were at the checkout and Kevin spotted these Minecraft boxes and they were 25% off. Yeah, they were only $3, which is normally they're, normally they're $3.99, I think. I'm wondering if you went to the Walgreens in Lexington, but you got the ones you wanted. I got the ones I went, because if you, there's a code on the bottom of the box. I think I've talked about it on my channel before. Uh, there's a code in the bottom of the box and you can look up those codes and know exactly what you're getting. So there were, how many, there's six different ones, but you only got three. No, there's not. Um, that's what there's I'm 12. I'm seeing six. There's, there's, oh, but they're all around the yeah, box. Yeah, there's six. I mean, okay. There's, um, Twelve. Okay. But I only, there's only three or four that I wanted. They didn't have one of them. This is a uh, Guardian shooting lightning bolts out of his yep. eyeball. Okay. And then... So I'm wondering if you, if there's one that you wanted, you should stop in Lexington. Isn't there a Walgreens down the street from you? Yeah, there's this one. Yeah. I'm wondering if they have them on sale there. No, no, no. Was this the witch one? No, that's a guy wrong one. This is the baby horse, which is fine. Oh, I like you didn't one. want the baby horse. That's fine. The baby horse is cute. Yeah, well, that's not one that we were looking at. We were going through them quickly because the, the boxes were right at checkout. So, this feels like the one I really wanted though. So, that's, that's fine. Yep. This is one I really wanted. The shocker. He shoots out these little balls when it hits you, it makes you float in the air. <laughs> yeah. Please, cool. Look who came over to make a mess in our kitchen. What are you making? Brownies. Brownies. And where did you get this recipe? Because it's a new one, isn't it? Yes. I got it off of Pinterest, to be honest. So I'm not super sure. I would tell you, but I literally just screenshotted. I hope it comes out well since it's off of Pinterest. Because some people say they're wonderful, and some people say they've gotten some duds. We'll see. Well, I will let you know. And if it's good... And I can find it again. I'll post the link below. It took me a little bit to get here. This is what it looks like right now. Oh, is this the actual brownie mixture? Mm -hmm. I've oh. never made brownies like this before. But you do, uh, you still have cream cheese and an egg and... Well, the cream cheese is for the frosting. This, is, this has a cream cheese frosting. I've never made brownies with like a specific frosting before. Um, so do you still have to put those two eggs in there? Yes. Oh, okay. So, I'm getting ready to leave, but Guido started barking like he always does. And then he came over here and jumped on the couch. And I don't know why he knows I'm getting ready to leave. But I think he looks hilarious because he came over here and jumped on the couch. And now he's just looking at me. So, I'll just peek at him every now and then from around the corner. I'll go around here and then I'll peek. Hello. Hi. And then I'll hide again. Hello. Hi. I don't know what.
what he's doing. He's like, she is being so weird. But I think he's weird for going and sitting on the couch. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And he can't hear a thing. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Are you a good boy? Look at these frog legs. <laughs> Those are frog legs. Oh, goodness. Goodness, he's a good boy. Such a good boy. Such a faithful friend. Look at those big brown eyes. Yes. Yes, they're little pools of love. Yes, they are. We have two boxes to open for you today. One is from our newest lottery winner, <laughs> Eric. Because <laughs> he's had to have won the lottery because it's costing him a fortune to mail these. This box alone was $18. I haven't been keeping track of the money that Eric has spent, but Eric has spent a lot of money. Just in shipping. Just in shipping. Yeah. And that's not including the price of each one of these things that he's sending us. So it, it's just amazing. And I think everyone knows that Eric lives in Texas because you all hear Eric's name all the time. Okay. Central Market Pre-Pack Mini Peppermint Pretzels. Those look, good. Those look very, very good. They look darker than I'm used to seeing, but they look good. They do. Uh, and these are from HEB. Uh, That'll be HEB uh, Central Market. And this is the Hill Country Fair Caramel and Coconut Fudge. These look like the Girl Scout cookies. Mm, the, the Samoas? Samoas, yeah. Those look like or a like Samoa. Caramel, coconut, whatever they're called. Yeah. Wherever you yeah, I think they changed. Yeah, the name's different in different parts, I think. This is the HEB Ranch flavored uh, crackers, and those look nice. They do look good. Those look really, really good. Nice thick crackers. They, that's how they look. Helamo, we've had this brand from Eric, Country Cookies, Coconut and Chocolate. So half of it has chocolate on it and the other half, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie and I guess it has uh, coconut throughout the whole thing. Helamo, Sun, Sun Best Breakfast Biscuits, With yogurt. yogurt. Hmm. Um, this is the brand uh, that had the, um, I forget what they call them, but they were basically the like the weedy um, biscuits dipped in chocolate that I love. That was a good brand. These are Rebellion, our little Rebellion, our little Rebellion limited edition popcorners minis, Snickerdoodle drizzle and double up fudge. Those look fun. Gluten free. These are made in Liberty, New York. I can't wait to try those. Okay, he wrote us a there's, note. Is there three, there's three different ones? Okay, there's the, there's that one. <laughs> Look what he's done. That's funny. It's funny that you sent us these because um, we just tried some of these. Literally just tried some of these. And we really like this flavor. So. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Oh, see the caramel or vanilla. That's our. That's so vanilla. he bought the bags, and he. I bet he sent us some from each bag. Probably. Thank you, Eric. That was very sweet. Yeah, you buy the bag of these, and you get nine in each bag. So um, now, when you see the review, because literally we just did the review right before this box opening. So now we, you'll know why we didn't say your name uh, during that review is because we had bought the bags. We didn't know. Thank you very much for sharing your stash with us. Okay, these are bourbon white chocolate biscuits. They are 64 calories oh, each, he said. Bourbon white chocolate. That sounds very interesting to me. Oh, and if I didn't tell you what these were, I don't think I did. These are the Hershey's Cookie Layer uh, Crunch Bars, and they, they have milk and vanilla cream and caramel cream. I don't think he kept no. any for himself. Yeah, he didn't send his caramels, so he may have just bought those. Oh, okay, okay, because we actually got the caramel cream as well. 
So he sent it on. No, he sent the whole bag. Yeah, he sent the whole bag. Wow. So he just didn't want to take up space. There's none, and I don't know what I'm assuming there's none wow. of those. Well. Thank you very much. Um, okay. This it, these are the uh, Miji Mini Angel Pie. These are hazelnut flavor. These cookies, those. these little cookies, you all would not believe how good these cookies They're really are. Good. These Japanese cookies, really good. They're only 40 calories each. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you put that. Uh, this is Safeway. Safeway Supermarket Brown Sugar Cinnamon Toaster Pastries. 200 calories per pastry. Yeah. He said it's the same as a pop tart, but it is uh, brown sugar cinnamon. And okay, it's just the Safeway version. These are H E B chewy trail mix bars, oatmeal raisin. And there's one. Very cool. There's one of those from the, that place. Okay, this is called Gather at Home. www.gatheratthome.com, and it is a Butterscotch almond bar. Almonds, gluten-free oats, honey, coconut, butterscotch, chips, brown sugar, coconut oil, and vanilla salt. I've told you all, Eric is really good with uh, buying things online and trying them out. He's told me he's ordered things from Etsy and everything. So, this is really cool. And she is in Reno, Nevada. This is a, does that say ham? Horn. I thought it said horn. Okay. Ham too. That's scary. <laughs> ham and cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Miji horn lemon cheesecake cookie sticks. And they're 40 calories each. And it's literally a stick. Like a little bread uh, and it, But it's a cookie. Thank you so much, Eric. Very, very much uh, for another fun box. And you know what? Uh, even though we just tried these, that's okay. Uh, because, I mean, we can always share these with Andrew and Christina, too. Since we have bags for us, you know, it's nice to be able to share with them. Now, this one, this box is from Ian in Cornwall. And Ian is the one... Ian, yeah. Ian is the one who um, had us watch, start watching Paul Dark. So we uh, will all- I can all... never figure out how to open these boxes. Until I get them open, then it's like, oh, just like it. Please don't slip your fingers open. Okay. Right. Um, Thank you, dear, for the warning. Mind the side, guys. You know, you never know when you might just slip. All I'm gonna do is just tear it. I bet you, you can close it up. So okay. anyway, Ian, uh, I always think anytime we, we see an episode of Paul Dark, I think of Ian. Oh, wow. I see what him is it is. that? Ooh, M&S Christmas Cranberry and Clementine Jaffa Cakes. Cool. That is so awesome. M&S. After dinner, orange creams. I <laughs> love orange creams. Oh, you really like the rest of the stuff in the box. Chocolate, dark chocolates with an orange flavored fondant filling. Festive five stolen slices. These are um, uh, fruit bread slices. They have juicy sultanas soaked in rum and filled with soft marzipan. Those sound wonderful. Okay. A Christmas pudding. Favorina Christmas pudding. A rich six month matured Christmas pudding packed with plump vine fruits and cherries laced with cider rum and brandy. Thank you very much. Now, last year, Jennifer, Nathan, and Mike sent us a Christmas pudding, didn't they? I wonder if they this did. is a it different looks very brand. Similar, I yeah. wonder if this is a different brand. I love your emblem, by the way. What's the, ooh, cool. That's cool. I like the dragons and the stuff like that. Oh. Do you want the rest of the stuff out of here first, or do you want to open that? Uh, we can open this. 
Ann Stokes collection is the name. I think they have calendars with those pictures yeah, look. over here. Oh, I love that. That's cool. My kind of thing. To Tammy, Kevin, and family, have a wonderful Yuletide with blessings of the season. Thank you for your videos from Ian. Yeah, that is, awesome. that is, yes, I love that. And it reminds me on the back of a Harry Potter owl. It does. What was that owl sign? Hedwig. Hedwig. That, that truly reminds me of Harry Potter. And Guido Chapel and Parish. Can I open it for them? I think so. I think you could even read it for them if you really wanted to. Oh, okay. I don't think they would mind. Now, Ian, if you're watching this, which I know you will be, you have to tell me about if you have a pet, because I can't remember if you said you did or not, but you have to have a pet to be th so uh, thoughtful and think of the pet. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Have your elf a merry little Christmas. <laughs> that is- That is a fat butt. Awesome. That is so cute. That pug is round. I love that. That's a round pug. That, yeah, that is an, a very overweight pug, but I love that. Thank you. That's what most people associate with pugs. I know. Okay. Deluxe strawberries coated in milk chocolate. Those look good. They do look good. Selection Deluxe Exclusive. Freeze dried strawberries and milk chocolate. They look really good. Ooh, flapjacks. I knew you would like those. These are Highgate's, Highgate's flapjacks. This is a cherry and original recipe. And hey, here's the chocolate one. Ooh, a chocolate one? I didn't find it until. Chocolate, yeah, a bar of oats and a chocolate flavor coating. Yes, it, they just look wonderful. I can't wait to try those. Um, yeah, we've never had that brand, Highgates. www.highgatesltd.co.uk Ooh, Mr. Kipling Christmas Slices. Thank you for sending me the packaging because he knows that I will want to take a picture of these. I'll, I will slide these back in here. I'll try to at least so that they look proper for the picture. And um, and that way um, I can have a good picture of them for you all. These are rich and juicy fruit cake topped with a soft almond layer and delicate white icing. A classic slice of Christmas. Yeah, this is so awesome. we've never tried those? No. No, we've never tried. These are actually fruitcake. Oh. Yeah, fruitcake with uh, almond and almond layer on the top. Oh, that's almond. Be really good. Yeah, because I've really come to, to appreciate the almond. I, I never knew how much I liked almond. What is this? Now, how would you say that? Lindel. L I D L. Little, little, little surprises. Little. little surprises Christmas. So is this the grocery store? Oh, look. That's cool. We've got like little. Oh, yeah. So you can order stuff. Look at that, oh, look at that cake with a tree on it. That's cool. Oh, cake. this is so neat. Yeah, this is like, um, and you even, you even uh, left the coupons in the back. <laughs> you could have torn those coupons out. Yeah, look at this. And there's all kinds of things in this book. Awesome. And they're telling you how to cook these things. Oh, and they cool. have uh, uh, ornaments in here. Look, hair dryer. There's everything in here. That's awesome. You probably can't see all that. But this this is neat. Thank you very much. I don't know where that one's from. Is this, oh, St. Andrews. And you know what? Well, of course, when we were there, we never thought that we would uh, be collecting flags. At St. Andrews, where the yes, uh, we went there, the golf course. course. Yes, they have the coolest um, abandoned ruin of cathedral. They do, and we walked around there, and it's 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 it, the most beautiful so place. It was cold the day we went. 
but it's so beautiful because you have the beach. Oh, and they're well known for Chariots of Fire. I remember you all yeah, telling Chariots that. of Fire running down the beach. Um, yeah. they, remember they, they said, our tour thing guide said, it's probably too cold to go run down the beach like Chariots of Fire, but a lot right. of people do. But I didn't know, I didn't catch, I didn't retain that at first. Yeah, because when we got back down there, it says, hey, there's a beach. Right, <laughs> right. Like, so yeah, then, since we've been home, other people have watched the videos and they're like, oh, that's where that was filmed. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. totally get it. But it's a really neat place because you have the beach, but then you have the, the like, the town center, which has all kinds of shops and, and little little coffee mm -hmm. shops. and. Well, they have one little, like a court, it was almost, it was a street. Yeah. With stuff on both sides, you just oh, walk yeah. up and down it and go to bars. And, and then they have the ruin. Pubs. Yeah, and then they have the ruin. But in addition to that, it's like a it's a college town, is yeah. what they said. Yeah. And I never saw any evidence of it being a college town. We no. probably weren't in that section. But that um, I've told you all this before. I'm sure when I've talked about St. Andrews, uh, that's where I bought three um, MC Beaton books. Mm -hmm. That's where I bought them. Yep. Was, and we'll the those will always be special to me, and I will always remember St. Andrews because I bought something. I took something special away from from that area. But doesn't so, that flag remind you of the Cornwall flag, except it's blue and white? Cornwall was black and white. Cornwall's black and white. Let's open it up. We can fold it back. And it is, um, it's almost dark now, and, and it's, it's raining, <laughs> so we will wait to put this up. But let's see. Oh, and it, okay, this is great. It's smaller, but that's good because um, we don't want to run out of room too fast back there. This we is We might something. be able to melt that one back up and down. Oh, yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll get, we'll get the best place in for I like the colors, though. I love the colors. Yeah, I really love that. Thank you. That's the coolest thing. I, I really appreciate that. Um, Eric, thank you again. Um, I'm going to be having videos from Eric until about March. <laughs> So <laughs> just just know that they're gonna yeah they're they're coming um, slowly but surely they're coming uh, but it's it's just it's gonna take a while to get through them so but I'm sure you will see uh, the Christmas items before any of the other stuff just because you know I try to get seasonal ones out quicker to you all so that you can enjoy them so thank you very much Eric and Ian uh, we appreciate it. Okay, the next thing you're going to see is some video of the building that I work in, the school that I work in. Uh, what we're doing is they've built a new campus um, in a different um, local town. It's like we're, we're right now we're in Lexington, we're moving to Georgetown. So that's where we're moving to. So they're moving, uh, they built a brand new building, um, huge building. And um, so what we've had to do is they're moving our electronics, our electricity, industrial maintenance, and our machine tool program from the Lexington campus up to Georgetown. So I'm just gonna show you some, um, some of the rooms, some of the bigger rooms that we use, um, show you some of the move, and um, probably in next week's vlog, I'll have some video of the new building. Um, I'd like to walk around and shoot some video of that, uh, but, but I'm not going up there until um, next week. Um, I think I'm going up there Monday or Tuesday. So I won't have a chance to videotape it now, but um, I'll definitely have it in the next video. So that's what the videos are you're fixing to see, just uh, the room, the classrooms that we're in right now getting moved out. So it's pretty amazing. I wanted to show you my room. It's uh, before the move. Here's the boxes that are getting out. But uh, things have definitely gotten packed up in here. Looks a lot different. So I'll show you when everything's gone. Okay, here's my room. Really not much has changed in here. They did move the boxes and the scopes and stuff, but um, nothing else is really going out of here. I've got one cabinet and a filing cabinet that's going to be moved today, but um, but that's pretty much it. Everything else is going to be surplus, so I'll go to the next room. Here's Paul's room, and there's quite a bit. Those are going. Um, quite a bit of stuff has moved around in here. You can see it's quite empty. Uh, those tables are going today. Um, still got to sort through all that stuff Paul does. So that's kind of what he's got going on. Uh, let me see if I can go over here. These are mostly computers, so they're going to go later. And then Kevin's room, he's cleaned off his benches. 
Uh, the computers are all gone. I didn't show this room beforehand, so it's no, no way I know what it looked like, but it was pretty full of stuff. So most of it's gone, a lot of stuff's gonna go uh, get packed up today. The rest, a lot of the stuff is gonna go. Stuff on there, we'll have to get, they'll have to come back and move that later. Who's that back? Moving vans aren't here yet, so go through. Interesting. She put all those motors. He worked hard like yesterday. Um, so this room was again full of full of equipment and stuff, and it's it's empty. It's really empty now. So I'm gonna go on down the hallway. This was a physics room ages and ages ago, but they've been using it for alternative energy like solar power and wind power. Um, so really, the only thing I want to hear right now are these benches. They're going to be all me moved. I think the chairs are staying though. I don't, I'm not sure. And the last room I'll show you is the fluid power room. All these uh, blue trainers are going. This room will be empty. So I'll try to show you around after everything's moved to let you see what it looks like. So I just wanted to show you something that I'm up to today. Um, I have these uh, pecans that I'm making and I have a recipe for them on YouTube. It's really old um, But uh, you can look it up if you want to these are um, cinnamon uh, Cinnamon and sugar pecans and literally it's like pecan hives cinnamon Sugar and egg and some salt and that is it and you just bake them And then I have my tins laid out here and I'm gonna fill the tins it takes a pound of pecans And so I don't know if it's really cheaper to buy them already made or If it's cheaper just to make them yourself, but I enjoy making them and it's easy So uh, I have a batch in the oven that's getting ready to come out and then I'm gonna make these uh, as well so this is how they look when they come out, and you can see that they're they're still a little bit wet. I've actually never used parchment paper under them. I've always greased the cookie sheet, uh, but I think they'll be fine. You just you need to leave them here for probably 10 minutes before putting them into the tin. You're probably supposed to let them cool off completely, but I never have, um, and they're always fine. But uh, yeah, leave them sitting here for about 10 minutes, and then they'll be ready to go. I'm going to show the rooms after we've done the move. There's the fluid power lab. It is empty. All the equipment's gone. Alternative energy, all the solar panels, the desk, everything's gone. I'm going to take you over to my classroom and those rooms. This room really doesn't look a ton different. There's some trainers gone. Um, the desk that was up here is gone, but, but that's pretty much it. Uh, this is where PLCs were. Go in my classroom. It's actually messier than it was. <laughs> The cabinet, um, the cabinet and the filing cabinet are, are gone. They're screwed over. Um, some things, like this is all surplus stuff against the wall. Um, things I'm gonna donate to the local area uh, high school. There's more surplus stuff. Back in the back is stuff someone else has to go through. It's not mine, but it was in my cabinet. So someone else has to sort through it. And that's all surplus stuff. So this is all gonna be gone um, within the next week um, before we leave. So I'll go up to the next two rooms um, and see what's going on there. Okay, here's another room. They were gonna take these tables, but they decided not to. Um, one of the cabinet in the back is gone. They had a bunch of boxes here. I think I showed you, those are all gone. I cleaned out the cabinet that was in the back. That's what came out of it. Um, it still has to be sorted through. All those cabinets are still full of stuff. So all that stuff has to be sorted. 
um, take you through the dark here in just a second. But, but yeah, that's um, that, that's it. So let's go through. Yeah, you can still see pretty decent. Um, nothing much has changed here. There's some computers gone, things like that. But those cabinets are still full of stuff that's got to be uh, probably surplus for the most part. There's some radio equipment that's gone over here, but that's about it. And like I said, I know it's dark, but... And then Kevin's been over here. He's been working on cleaning up his stuff and uh, getting rid of stuff. So that's pretty much it. I'll go down to the other hallway. I think you'll see uh, most of that hasn't changed a whole lot. All right, here's the rotating machinery room, and they've slowly been clearing out some stuff here against the wall. And I'll show you the connecting room. I don't think much has changed there since the last time I went through here, but we can look at it. The, oh yeah, they did take the shelf out, so that's all gone now. It's a big roll of uh, landscaping plastic. I wish, I, I wish I had a truck, I'd take it home with me. Um, the motors are going up to another room, but uh, everything else is pretty much gone. It's pretty clear now. <laughs> um, Liz, I didn't think to, I, I, I forgot that I'm showing you all my crystal cards. So I went ahead and opened this one. It's from Liz in Ohio, and she also sent me a bunch of coupons on the inside of this for ice cream. Uh, so thank you very much, Liz. And it says Star of Wonder on the front. It's a beautiful card. Beautiful card, and I really appreciate it. And then this one I recognize from the name on the front is from Jean. Miss Jean, God is good. And what do we say? All the time. That's what they say. <laughs> um, and just so you know, I see a lot of his goodness in you all. Oh, lots of love, Jean Norton from Taylorsville. And that's the card. And what is this? Well, oh, she wrote me a letter. Okay. Well, I will read, or should I read? Oh, there's lots of glitter. I mean, that card is like <laughs> full of glitter. Oh, uh, da, da, da. It says, Tammy and Kevin, I was going to send you a pug card, but could only find one that barks and farts. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a <laughs> pug. Um, I decided not to get it. Only, that's why those are the only guy you could find. <laughs> Thanks for being my eyes while shopping since I have a hard time shopping for myself. I can turn on my tablet and shop along with you. Thank you also for making videos for when I can't sleep at night. I turn on the videos and feel like I have friends with me. I especially like your Christmas videos because even in August I have a little bit of Christmas. I look forward to another year of your videos full of your adventures. God bless you and your family, Jane. P.S. More vintage paper. Yes. Look, because the last thing she sent us, the caps, the toboggans, um, she sent me a, poke, um, a pug and she sent Kevin a Pokemon one and it was wrapped in vintage paper and I immediately knew it because uh, I, I, I like that kind of thing. So thank you very much, Jean, for your card and your letter. And what is this? I took this the paper off from, so you can see it. This is from California? <laughs> Is it from Nan? No. The Shakiri family? Yeah. The Shakiri family. Um, maybe not necessarily a review, but hopefully to enjoy. Dandelion OMG. Chocolate. OMG Candy Bar. A San Francisco chocolate, chocolate collaboration. Yeah, we'll review this. Uh, we've never had this brand before. I've never heard OMG of Candy Bar. Uh, yeah, we will we will definitely we received your card and I remember it said the candy bar is coming That's She right. sent the book yeah. on England yeah. and uh, Yeah, you said that the candy bar is coming separately. So thank you very much Yeah, we'll definitely do a review of this and we really appreciate it Well, it is Saturday and it is just after two right now, but Kevin and I aren't doing any major shopping. As a matter of fact, you'll have noticed um, 
right before this if you watch the haul that it was a small haul because what we will do is uh, we will Kevin gets paid on the 15th so we will make out a big list that includes Christmas Eve stuff and um, I plan on cooking dinner a family dinner this coming week so it will have stuff that I need for that so there will be a lot on next week's um, uh, a grocery haul this week is is just it was just small we just didn't need a lot if you watch the one from the previous week we bought a ton of stuff so you're good just gonna have those weeks that are off and that you don't need a lot of uh, stuff so we weren't going anywhere today but Ashley had a couple places to go Ashley's been in Ulta and she's been in Target. She's been oh she went in Costco. She called me from the Costco parking lot and she said I want you to know there's not one parking place over here but it is the 10th of December. She said I mean not one parking place. So then she goes in Costco. She leaves and uh, she goes to Target and she she calls me from Target and she says uh, you'll be so glad that you didn't come over here today because they are just swamped. And I said, that's exactly why we're not there today. Is because we knew that it everybody's off on Saturday and Sunday, so everybody's going to be shopping today. So um, I told Kevin, I said, we just need to go to Kroger, and that's going to be it, and then we can go home. And so that's where we are. So we're not, really not going to be doing um, much else. I think... Um, Andrew and Christina are coming over uh, with Gavin and Amelia, and so if I get them on video at all, then I'll add it to, to next week. If, if we do anything vlog-worthy, um, then I'll just put it on next week's vlog so that I can end this one here. But I have Ashley. Ashley gave me a jar last Christmas. You all... I, We've only, we're only a couple more weeks and then you won't have to hear me explain this ever again. Ashley gave me a jar with quotes and sayings and Bible verses and things like that that she liked and uh, she put them on 365 different little pieces of paper. I pull out one piece of paper every single day. I think one of these is from last week because what happened is I was cleaning and I noticed that one was like blown behind my monitor. So it may have been from last week. It may have been from a few weeks ago. So I think I have too many in this pile, but that's okay. It's from a previous week. It still counts, right? So this is what I pulled out. Uh, this one says, clearly you can do anything. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Uh, be fearless. Collect moments, not things. Peace and love are eternal. Uh, today will be magical. I love you more than daddy's famous fried chicken. I love this because when she was little, we used to say stuff like this to each other all the time. One of the things that we used to tell each other was, I love you more than Daddy's Famous Fried Chicken. We love Daddy's Famous Fried Chicken, which we're talking about Kevin. And the recipe for his fried chicken is on YouTube. So if you want to make it like Kevin, you can. He shows you how. It's not that hard, I promise. But uh, for us to say we love you more than Daddy's Famous Fried Chicken, that means we love you a lot. Um, and then... Uh, accept what is and I love you and I love I, I love uh, getting the ones that say I love you and this week I tried to pull out you know there were some slips of paper in the jar that are bigger some are smaller I tried to pull out the little bitty ones um, we watched our first Christmas movie last night um, Kevin what was the name of the Christmas movie we watched last night we had never watched this movie. Uh, something Christmas. Like making it through Christmas. Um, it's Ben Affleck. Surviving. Was that Surviving it? Christmas. Surviving Christmas? Now that I've said it, he acts like, oh yeah, I, I knew that. He, he has headphones on. <laughs> He's select, selective hearing. Hear <laughs> um, 
But we watched it for the first time last night. It's hard to believe that it's been out for quite a while. Ben Affleck looked really young in it. And it had that uh, James Gandolfini, the uh, soprano, Tony Soprano in it. And um, Catherine O'Hara, who's the mother in Home Alone. And she's in Beetlejuice. I love Catherine O'Hara. And um, it, it had Christina Applegate. It was an all right movie. It, it was it was a one time movie. You know, you have those movies that you want to watch every year, and then you have the one time movie. So for us, that was a one time movie. But it was our first Christmas movie this year, and it's the tenth. So we need to get on the ball and start watching more Christmas movies. We have a ton to watch, um, and I noticed that we have two that are like from the 1940s that we've never seen. So if we watch those, I'll have to tell you next week what they are and, and all that stuff. So I hope you all have a great week. I'm sorry there wasn't a lot going on this week. It wasn't busy like last week's vlog with the farm and the, the Christmas decorations and all that. It just wasn't that busy of a week. Uh, but I hope you all are staying warm and safe where you're at. And thanks for watching.